shots. Ready, guys? Foot. <laughs> San Pedro isn't just about sun and fun, it's also filled with good food. In this episode, I'll take you to some of the spots we discovered on the island and give you a glimpse into what you can expect when you're planning your next vacation in Belize. Whether it's eating or just grabbing cocktails by the water, there's something to satisfy every palate. While I understand there is a tendency in some videos of this type to steer people away from the more popular spots, there's also a strong argument for popularity. People don't continue to patronize places where they don't have a good time or are not getting their money's worth. This video, however, is not all about the most popular spots. They're in this video, but I've also considered other places that I think provide a good representative sample of all San Pedro has to offer. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Gilly's Poor House is located in the perfect spot for those who want to spend a day playing in the waters off the island, just a tick north of Ambergris Divers, where you can book tours out to the reef. We stopped here for lunch. The view is top notch and prices on the food were average. They feature live music on the weekends, but check in advance because like the weather, things can change quickly. By the way, I had the best conch fritters of my life at this little restaurant, proving that good things can come in small packages. Why did we choose Carabas in San Pedro, downtown area? One reason, because I wanted to try the lionfish. And they have lionfish, it's fresh, and I'm gonna eat that bad boy tonight. When asking around about a recommendation for fresh fish, the one restaurant that kept coming up was Caramba. As far as restaurants go, this is one of the more popular spots. This definitely is a restaurant for tourists, a point that's reflected in the price, and it's easy to get carried away when loading up your plate with as much seafood as you can eat, as we soon learned. So this is the stone crab yeah. right here? Stone crabs. Okay, Shrimp stone crab. Here. We have the conch over here. This is conch? Conch. Okay. Octopus. Okay. Uh, Wahoo steak. More famous hogfish over here, guys. Okay. Hogfish. Wow. Same over here. Hogfish. Hogfish, okay. Hogfish, fresh fish nice. from Belize, one of the best. Oh, it's called hog? Hog, yeah. hog fish, okay. Yeah, black, uh, grouper. Wow, awesome. I have to try lion fish just because black, it's so unique. Uh, we snapper, think... plato. Uh, I... snapper. The snapper, okay. Yeah. Deep sea. Wow. Red snapper, the deep sea red oh my snapper. Goodness. The lion Let fish me see, can here. you hold that up for me? That's a pretty one. Look at that one, it's beautiful. Krista, look at the lion fish. Lionfish. Nice. It's almost looking like a piranha, but it's a lionfish. <laughs> it's dangerous. Piranhas and lions are. All right. Mucky snapper over here. Wow. Okay. Like All right. So I'm going to do the. Li we'll do the lionfish. So a lionfish. Lionfish and what else? The stone crab. Yeah. Let's try some stone crabs. Shrimp. Stone how many stone crabs? Um. How many can you get? As much as you want. Krista, how many stone crab legs do you want? Two each. Two, is that enough? Okay. So two each, right? Yeah, two each is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So four stone crab. And how let's many let's do uh, how many shrimp, hon? She's not looking. Four shrimp? Six? Six shrimp. Okay. So and two shrimp each, right? Or yeah. Six inch. Yeah, three inch. Two three inch. each, I'm sorry, yeah. You wanna try the conk? Um I like conch. I don't know if she does. What is that? The, the um, octopus. Octopus. Um, what was the hogfish? You see the hogfish? Yeah, hogfish here. All right, let's, one of our favorite let's, ones. Yeah, let's try a little bit of the hogfish. Yeah, small one? Yeah, small one. Just one. a small one. Yeah, to get started. That's good right there. All right, so perfect. And this will be Look at this dinner. one. That's beautiful. That what is, is absolutely... favorite dinner in Caramba? One, wonderful. I'm really excited. All right, so let's do it. All right, thank you, brother. Happy birthday. Thank you. Wow, look at this. 
Yes. There we go. My goodness. Some garlic butter is going right on the way. Okay? All right. So the hog, hogfish, lion, lionfish, lion stone crab. Let's be tiger jumbo shrimp. Awesome. You guys are all here happening. Unbelievable. You Thank you so much. My gosh, Krista, this is like a lot of food. Huh? The head of the fish is on the fish. That's okay. Are you going to have some lion fish with me? To try yeah, it? But not like the head. Well, you don't have to eat the head, but. Yeah, that looks great. Excuse me? Yes. Sure. Nice. This will be for the bones of the fish, crab shell, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so here is my first case of lionfish. Whoop, right? Just so you know. Here we go. I used to raise these things in my aquarium, so now I'm eating them. I never raised them with any success. Yeah, so lionfish is um, quite unremarkable. Tastes like uh, tilapia or uh, any kind of white fish that you may be used to. Uh, the hogfish was good. We had hogfish, but that was also deep fried. So stone crab, not as good as Maryland crabs. Just nothing beats Maryland crabs. Sorry, blue crab. And the shrimp, it was different. They were bigger though, right? They were big. In my opinion, Secret Beach is an essential stop when visiting Ambergris Key. No sargasm floating around on the bayside, great beaches, and lots of room to stretch out and move around. There are multiple restaurants here, but for our money, Happy Island was the way to go. We spent an entire day here and had breakfast and lunch. The prices are quite reasonable as well. So I got some uh, loaded nachos here for breakfast, lunch, and Chris has got the uh, shrimp fritters with uh, pineapple sauce, is it? Good? So good. Everything we've eaten here is incredible. That is true, yeah. Country. Nothing has been a disappointment here. Service with a smile. There you guys go. Thank you so much. This is our famous DP, Drunken Pineapple. Yeah. Hope you love it. <laughs> and now it's lunchtime, so we've got a club sandwich here with a little bit of egg in it this time and some melted cheese. That looks like heaven. Yum. We're gonna feed them french fries here, right? Wyo's is one of many restaurants on prime real estate overlooking the Caribbean. We were immediately impressed by the attentive and friendly staff, the stiff drinks, and the atmosphere. It was apparent that we would be spending some time there and drinking a bit to get the day started. Drink prices were very reasonable, and as attested to in so many Google reviews, you feel the love and gratefulness when you're there. So when you're in San Pedro and you're looking for a drink and you want something strong like me, you gotta come to Wyo's, guys. This is the best place. You got Mikey here. Oh, man. Mikey is the man. He took care of us. The hospitality here is off the chart. These guys are great. Love it. Love Belize. Belize for life. San Pedro for life. All the way, San Pedro, drink. That's my man. Love this guy. Peace. <laughs> Sandy Toes Beach Bar and Grill is another beautiful beachfront spot overlooking the clear waters of the Caribbean that makes the list. Just a five minute golf cart ride from San Pedro Center, I will always remember Sandy Toes because this was the first place I had the Belizean breakfast favorite, Fry Jacks. What are Fry Jacks? Well, I won't spoil it for you, but if you like fried dough, you'll love Fry Jacks. Make sure to check in with the staff as they do feature live music on various days throughout the week. We are doing some lunch, and so I got this bean dip with um, regular chips and then these things called fried jack. Basically just um, fried pastry dough. Tastes like dip it in here. It's a Belizean food. They love it, and so do I. It's very good. Krishna got 
Taquitos. Taquitos. Super yummy. We made our way to Ugly Duck one beautiful morning and found the largest breakfast crowd in San Pedro as of yet. People seemed pleased by the food, and the view of the reef in the distance was just as pleasing. After a while, places like Sandy Toes, Wyos, Rum Dog, the Palapa Bar, they all kind of merge into one memory. That's not necessarily a bad thing, since there's quite a selection of beachfront establishments to choose from. If you're like me, that also makes it easier to duck the larger crowds, as people are more spread out. As for the food and drink, Ugly Duck was a solid choice for what little we had. So for all my Maryland people, we're here at the Ugly Duck in San Pedro. We're looking at the menu, and look what we saw. Cheddar Bay. And what this says here, it's sharp and white cheddar mix with a touch of Old Bay. Yes, people, Baltimore, Maryland represent. If there's one restaurant we visited that goes over the top to bring elegance to this third world paradise, it's got to be Hidden Treasure Restaurant and Lounge. Nestled in a community on dirt roads that leaves every impression of a traditional Central American suburb, the restaurant seems completely out of place. Make sure if you're coming from the north end of the island that your golf cart is gassed up as Hidden Treasure is a bit south of Central San Pedro. But for what it is, the staff and the owner take their establishment seriously, and that pays dividends for the customer, because the ambiance, food, and drinks were great, though a little bit more on the expensive side. If there's a staple dining experience while in San Pedro, El Fagan is the place we found most recommended by the locals. Nestled in the heart of San Pedro town, the restaurant serves classic Belizean dishes, it's also the only place I've found where you can enjoy the bizarre, yet famous, Belizean royal rat. Oh, yes. All right. Um, there it is. Lovely, bro. I have to... Royal rat. Yum, yum, yum. Known as the Gibnut, this rodent was served to Queen Elizabeth II when she visited Belize in 1985. All in all, El Fagan made a solid play for best restaurant in San Pedro. Krista had the coconut shrimp with rice, which she thought was excellent. My rat was superb, and the prices were about average, so it won't break the bank. The truck stop is one of the more well-known spots on the island just north of San Pedro. It's also the quintessential tourist trap, meaning this place was packed to the gills with tourists when other places weren't. Featuring food trucks and a walk-up bar, my wife said it reminded her too much of something we'd find back in the States. And I was also a little disappointed that as the night wore on, our bar waitress seemed to forget where our table was. But that's where the criticisms end, because the food was really, really good. My wife had one of the best pizzas in recent memory, maybe even Brooklyn, New York good and I got Korean pork belly tacos, which were full of flavor. Make sure to read the bar menu while you're here, as the beverage descriptions are quite entertaining. Pupa Sorio Salvadorino was one of our last stops in San Pedro, and we're happy to save one of the best for last. While this is not a Belizean food per se, the pupusas are amazing. What is a pupusa? Basically, it's a Salvadorian food, a thick tortilla cooked on a grill and stuffed with pork, chicken, shrimp, cabbage, beans, cheese, you name it. And here, as in traditional recipes, it's served with a cabbage salad called cortido and tomato sauce. This is a cash-only establishment, but it's a very affordable menu, and you can easily scarf a dozen of these without paying out the ear. The most popular is the one um, mixed the one with the pork. The pork? Yes. That's okay. One. So mixed in, Sounds mixed good. has pork and what? And beans and pork cheese. Beans. Okay, pork and beans. Pork and beans. Okay. Look at the Belize prices here, guys. Do you want to do a mix? Two fifty. Mix, and I'll do. Uh, I think we need to try like maybe fifteen of them. 
What do you think? Yeah. Two mixed. Um, Is that all you want or do you want more? How big are they again? Like this one? Oh, they're I small. Okay, so now we gotta load up then. Okay, can we do a pumpkin? And can we do a spinach? And you a shrimp. Pumpkin with cheese or just pumpkin? Pumpkin with cheese. Pumpkin with cheese, spinach, and throw in a shrimp too. With cheese, right? Yeah. Sure. Cheese, cheese. cheese on everything. Um, one each? Uh, we'll share. Uh, We're just gonna share, right? So one each of the mix. So two mix. So mix one pumpkin and cheese, one spinach and cheese, and one shrimp and cheese. Yes. Yes. That sounds good. Thank you. Mmm, papusa. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> oh my god, it's good. Is it really a good? It's like a quesadilla, except a million times better. Really? Mmm. Mm. You like? This is shrimp. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the shrimp? Yeah, what did you get? This is the mix. Oh, okay. I thought we got the same thing. Well, I had a shrimp of mine, unless it just got caught in there. See the shrimp? This is the mix of pork, cheese, and beans, I think Pork, cheese, and beans, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> mm. Unbelievable. It almost looks like Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. All right, here we go. You don't think that's hot? It's a good hot. It's not like I had one that was just horrifyingly hot. You've got a good. You've got a, a pretty formidable palate. I mean, this is. I think that this is hot. Like really hot. Huh? I think I tried that one that was, it said like the wear on it. It was uh -huh. like a super hot one. That was a lot. Trent eating her El Salvadorian food here with the American flag behind her on the wall and whew, drinking Coca Cola. You have to admit, I'm pretty adventurous. With you are. You're an adventurous eater, too. As long as it's not in the sky. But you're also an adventurous eater. You had barracuda, you had the lionfish. The only thing you wouldn't eat is the rat. Yeah. So if you had the rat, you would have had the. The triple, triple, triple. And I won't adventure anything that's high in the sky. Mm -hmm. Anything in the water, I'll do. No. Thank you for coming along with me on this tour of San Pedro's restaurants and bars. These 10 places should give you a good idea of what awaits you in paradise. Let me know in the comments section if I missed your favorite restaurant in San Pedro. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as more content is coming soon. Take care, and I'll see you next time.